hey guys i hope you are well welcome to another video by your weird strange normalish host the he and i'm bringing you the mercury in retrograde video in capricorn which is happening on the 29th of december to the 18th of january 2023 so serious time guys you know aging into capricorn season aging into the new year and with mercury being retrograde here in the serious sign of capricorn one of the most serious signs obviously they're all serious in their own way but mercury being in this sign is bringing it a because you know mercury went into capricorn the 6th of december and obviously, you know, you have the shadow period and it goes retrograde and then it comes out and it's still a bit of a shadow period. So it's going to feel very much like a long one. It's going to feel like it's going to be like six months. Well, I'm probably just going too far, but it's going to feel, you know, from December, the whole of December to I'll say the whole of January, we're going to be feeling this energy. And Capricorn is one of the signs that is, you know, it's the goat. It's the goat that climbs the mountain, regardless of the obstacles it's going to be facing. It, it has a end goal. This retrograde will bring up themes of, of course, seriousness, shrewdness, and also, uh, when it when it comes to like business, money, growth. The goat. And anything that is concerned with the long-term goals and are also our actions. You know, Capricorn is a sensitive sign. It just doesn't show it to the world. And with Mercury being there, it's going to be bringing out this, it can bring out this harshness for a lot of us, this harsh way of us doing things, our, our, even like our mind, how our mind works and also in how we communicate. But you know, because we're going into January as well and the new year, it's about our ambitions, how we're moving forward towards our future. And for good or bad, this will bring out a, a different side to all of us. And retrograde is like going back over themes, going back over things, redoing things, reorganizing, setting up our routines, you know, yeah. It could be clapbacks, but it's a serious one, very much a serious one. I think we're going to see in 2023 a lot of retrogrades that are going to be going into earth signs anyway. So we're going to be doing things properly. And because Capricorn is the first cardinal sign of the earth, it's going to set that tone. And also we are in winter solstice as well. So things, yes, of course, things will be harsh. Things will be... You know, things will. I feel that things will start to make sense. Capricorn is not an easy sign, it's not, it's ruled by Saturn, it's not easy energy. It's the lord of karma, the lord of hard work, the lord of setting the tone for things to come. And you know, Capricorns, I feel a lot of Capricorns, and even the sign, even Capricorns itself, is you know, Pluto's been there for a while, and you know, some Capricorns have risen. Some have not. It's definitely benefited a generation as well with Pluto being there. But, you know, we could still see some of these themes happening with Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. <clears throat> as we know, Capricorn does rule like bosses, governments, and Mercury rules the media. So we can see a lot more of these things happening to do with like hires up and the media. A lot of backtracking going on, a lot of reworking things. Let's try and make this work. Let's do this contract. Let's try and grow this together. There can be a lot of that going on, amongst other things too. But even on a personal level, you know, it's really good to see where Capricorn is in your personal house chart. Because this will show you where this is, you know, look, look where Mercury is in your house chart, which house it occupies. But also look where Capricorn is. So this will give you an overview of more or less what's to come for the next, I'll say, two months. 
so yes uh, this is a big one and in a way it's, it's actually quite good that it's carrying on to the new year because whenever you see the capricorn energies happen in january it is planting of new seeds it is going back to basics it's probably tightening our belt but it's also okay let's do this properly let me do let me plan this properly let me start a new job or let me look at my career properly or even looking at my my goals and my friendships my relationships my business partners let me you know either clean the slate and start from scratch or let me just rework this so it's you know even though we're going to be we're going to be feeling this energy going into the new year that i, I feel that it's great to see it as a brand new beginning because it's a new it's 2023 and we will more or less see in 2023 the because I I always thought when it's 2020 when it's like like 2001 to 2021 I feel that we you're going to be seeing the beginnings of the decade but I've always seen that whenever it's a three that's involved whether it's even from 1993 2003 2013 you know, 2023, I feel that you see more of what the, it's not about what the decade's going to be like, but what riches it can bring. I could be wrong, but that's what, I, that's what I've always noticed from the threes of the decade. You start to see like the beauty of, because you know, 2020, 21, 22, you're still in the big, you're still in the mid, the early stages of it. When we go to like 23, 24, it's like, okay. So we may see like the, the beginnings of it. So if you are, so when you are setting intentions or when you are working towards your goals during this time, it's really great to see like the, the, the fruits of your labor starting to sort of shine through. And remember, because Capricorn, it's not going to be very sudden. It, 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 just, it just will take time. So we all have to try and remember that, even myself, because I do like things to be very quick. And remember, it's January. January is not an easy month. So, yes. So, yeah, I'm going to be talking about the signs. I'm pulling out a tarot or an oracle card. Okay. So, Capricorn, I'm going to be starting off with you because, you know, you're the star of the show. And it's your birthday season, birthday week. So, Mercury retrograde is obviously in your first house. Okay. And this would... This is a time where a lot of you will see yourself getting organized, okay, and learning. I feel a lot of you are going to be organizing and relearning. Some of you may decide that you want to improve your skills in some way, improve yourself, improve your body, improve your physicality, improve your appearance, because this is the first house. So that's where your mind is going. And because it's the new year, there's no time like the present. Obviously, a lot of you will start these things slowly. But I see a huge improvement that a lot of you guys are going to be making. And because Saturn, Saturn, because the Pluto is coming out of your sign as well, only for a brief bit, it's, it's changing signs for you. So you're going to be changing. Your mind is changing. Your beliefs are changing. There's things that you've learnt, whether it's from last year or from 15 years ago, that now is coming full circle. So it's like, I, I need, you know, I need to change up something. You know, I, there's a stagnation that's coming across, but now there's an open-mindedness, sort of like an open-mindedness coming across. So, so you're definitely going back over old routines. Um, you know, some of you may even decide to get very healthy as well because it's a new year. So you could be like recook, like recooking, like cooking nice food and uh, prepping, getting like rescheduling things, going over work. And also le higher learning. I do see like higher learning coming forth. It could be to do with just business though. We could be going over old contracts and also seeing people that, you know, you lost contact with, they can definitely come back. So the card you have is love your body. <laughs> and it's also the world card. So things are definitely coming full circle for a lot of you. An ending's happening, a new beginning is coming. A huge realisation is coming. 
obviously because it's the first it's all to do with like the outer the physicality so you know you're gonna have this sort of eureka moment of the, what i can do for myself to make myself you know just to better just to better yourself what you could do to help with your mind your body and your soul but also your work life as well so an ending's happening but a new beginning is coming so there's going to be a big transformation time for a lot of you capricorns aquarius this is in your 12th house okay so you guys like mentally mercury retrograde in your 12th is you know mentally it's going within it is a time that we're going to be trying to relax not go too fast even if you wanted to it's you know you're going to be peered down a lot aquarius a lot of you could be feeling quite tired now a lot of you could be feeling that it's time to you know sort of take things easy but still you can do a lot behind the scenes like from doing some creative work um, there could be a hidden romance <coughs> could be coming up, but it, it could be um there could be someone from the past that definitely can come back. It could be also it could be like an old lover, but it could also be you doing things that are not not seen to the world. That like you could be visiting hospitals, hospices, uh, brothels, all those types of like hidden twelfth house things, or you could be doing some charity work. You may have thought about doing this. Um, Aquarius but now you might think you know what I was think of doing it let me revisit that and let me do it but yes I do see some creativity coming forth I do see a lot of you like sorting out your finances sorting out like, joint finances but also this can also bring up some hidden fears that you guys will may have to revisit Saturn's coming out of your sign so you know there's a lot of wrapping up that you guys have to do and you know this is in your this is in your twelfth, and twelfth is about endings. So I feel you guys are going to be seeing a lot of things that are just wrapping up, and this but it's going to be more of an emotional time. You card you got is break addiction, and this in this in this the tarot it's the hierophant. It's number five. So break addiction is especially with, with this hierophant card is. You know, you're going back to basics. There's things that you guys may be thinking about all the time. And the 12th house, like I said, it does bring up fears. It brings up, it can bring up anxiety as well. So anything that you are holding on to, you're going it's, to, it's, it says break addiction, is try to release it in a, in a constructive way. Not by ignoring it. Because remember, retrograde is about things resurfacing. So you may find mentally you're going to be resurfacing, rehashing old things but also especially when people come back into your life as well so if people if anyone's hindering you it's time to break that addiction if anything is that's holding you back it's time to break it especially when saturn's coming out of your sign pisces this is in your 11th house so it's a big big house of medi not meditation it well you could but is to do with your goals, your dreams, friends. Retrograde can bring up friends from the past coming back. And I think because it's in Capricorn, it could be from 30 years ago. Anything that's got the zero. So it could be 20, it could be 30. That's, that's what I'm picking up. So yeah, friends definitely can come back. Old goals can definitely come back for you to work on. And, you know, because Mercury rules your fourth and your seventh house this is going to be you there's something that's going on within the home that needs to be sorted out this could be contracts it could be leases this could be definitely um, agreements with and also this is to do with your relationship as well but also the relationship you have with your friends this is this could see you going over like if certain people need to be in your life certain things need to go uh um but also your home definitely your home is coming up you know some of you guys may decide that you want to like redecorate this could definitely be on your mind especially come up to the new year so it's just you know fixing things and buying cookers and pots and pans 
if especially if you've been putting a lot of this off and you know this can bring up some drama with um partners as well especially if you're not on the same page but all in all you know your goals are definitely taking a bigger stance now and I feel, Pisces, this is a great time to be, you know, especially come the new year, before Saturn goes into your sign, to just dig out that book, dig out that poetry, dig out anything that you've always, that you've just left at the back corner. Time to bring it out now. And I feel that there can be some friends that are in your life that can help, but also it could be ex-friends, like friends from the past. But, you know, whether they stay or go is another story. So the card you've got is Embrace Meditation, number nine card, which is the Hermit card. So you guys may be going within, because it's going to be a busy Mercury retrograde for you. There's going to be a lot of, um, it, it could, you know, there's a, I feel there's a lot of like push and pull, like let's go here Pisces, let's go there, let's go on a date, let's do this in the house. Let's do this goal. There's a lot of push and pull going and it's going to be very busy for you. It could be too much. So when it says embrace meditation with the hermit card, it's like listening. When, when, when you're having that time to yourself, which I feel a lot of you will need, it's just going to give you those answers. You know, this is going to help slow your mind down. Because the 11th house is ruled by Aquarius and it's a busy mental house. It's Uranus house. So I feel meditation... If you haven't started it, this is a great time to be doing it. But if you, and it could be any type, it could be walking, it could be, I don't know, jogging, it could be dancing. But anything that helps lower the mental stress that could be happening, because it could be a lot. You know, it's in like busy houses anyway. So yes, embrace meditation. Aries. So this is in your 10th house. Okay, bosses, status, all of that. And Mercury rules your third, and it also rules your six. So, busy time, busy, busy, busy time, uh, mental times. <laughs> so you're going to be, again, there's, there can be, for a lot of you, Aries, old bosses coming back. You could be just looking over your job. Am I happy? Is it worth it? Do I need to do something new? Do I need to start something new? And you and if you are if you are happy within your work and your status you know Janet will be very busy when you are it could be signing contracts there could be a lot of conversations there could be a lot of communication you could be signing new contracts doing a, like a business deal because you've got business houses that are happening so it could be you doing blogging this is a great time to be blogging writing down your thoughts if you haven't, this is also a good time to reorganize yourself, reorganize your goals, reorganize your, you know, just in general, organization is key for you and looking after your physical self, like Capricorn, because because it's such a busy time when it comes to your career, you you want to be at your best. So again, January is great for you to get healthy or healthier and do all the boring paperwork that needs to be done, signing off contracts that you haven't signed and, you know, talking to your boss. And if you're not happy, you know, old people, old bosses can come back, old colleagues can come back. But it's a very busy time, Aries, very busy. You're going to be on, like, you're going to be on a roll. You know, you might go into January steam rolling ahead. So the card you've got is Awaken Your Vulnerability. And it's a three card, which is the high not high priestess it's the venus card <laughs> which is the empress so again it is a time to say what you are happy with and what you're not happy with um your happiness always comes first aries i think you guys know that so it says awaken your vulnerability with the you know this is a empress card is again taking care of yourself taking care of your happiness but also not being afraid to show your emotion. So if you're happy, show it. If you're not happy, show it. Not hard for you. But if you're sad as well, if you're not happy in the role that you have, emote it. But or if you can't at work, because it might be one of those places that you know you can't really show emotion. 
write it, blog it. Uh, I don't know, you could videotape it, but I'm not saying you should, but if you feel to, why not? Um, but yeah, getting your thoughts out, getting your thoughts out will really help you because you don't want to build up any anger and tension and it just explodes. Remember, Mercury, remember, Mars is retrograde in your, you know, your third house, so... But yeah, finding ways to awaken your vulnerability, I feel is key for you because I feel people understand where you're coming from more. And also there can be, this can actually change um, in your job position as well. If they think that you can take on everything and you just emote you're not, then you can get someone to help you, you know, but it's all about expressing it, but also showing your vulnerability. Taurus. So this is going to be, you're going to enjoy this because all that all the water signs and the earth signs will definitely enjoy this. So this is in your ninth house. Very, very busy time. Mercury rules your fifth and it also rules your second. So you guys, uh, you're gonna, it's a time of investments, you know. I feel a lot of you guys will probably decide that, okay, now or never. New year, new me, new beginning. North Node still in my sign, why not? You could be investing in a passion or a vanity project. This is a great time to be doing that. But also um, something to do with like the law, publishing, higher learning, something spiritual and something creative. I can see a lot of Tauruses reading more, definitely reading. Um, anything you're going to be doing is for the long term. That's what a Capricorn wants you to do, Taurus, because you understand Capricorn very well. So invest in anything in the long term. So I feel reading would definitely help. I see a lot of you doing that anyway, but it could be reading spiritual books. It could be you reading about, I don't know, it could be reading about something to do with like money, or you could be reading uh, biographies about people just to help with the whole inspiration or insp that you need. But it's a very fun time for a lot of you. And, you know, child, this is about children could be involved as well. Some of you, you know, it could be conception or it could be you thinking about that. Or it could be you thinking about when you were younger, how, how you used to have fun. Or if you want to go back to studying, this is a great time. There can be a lot of excitement building with a lot of you Tauruses. So the card you've got is show self-respect. It's a 29 card. So show self-respect. Like, I feel that you have... It's about respecting yourself, Taurus. And it's not It's not in a horrible way, show self-respect. But respecting things that you you just didn't really think about. That you thought, oh, it's just not for me. I, I You probably could be looking down on it. But respect it. Because... And also respect your skills. Respect your... Respect what you always wanted to do. Because the ninth house is like the spiritual house, Sagittarius house, and you may be holding on to like these old goals and dreams and beliefs, and it's just like, no, you have to fade that out. Do something that you've always wanted to do, and also show respect for it, because you never know what can make you travel. With Uranus and Uranus and Mercury being in Uranus and the North Node being your sign, you're changing Taurus. You know, I know some of you may not want to hear that, but you're changing and I feel for the better. So, you know, show self-respect and really go for what you want. Hello, Gemini. So, Gemini, this is in your eighth house, a very emotional house. You guys could be having very much an emotional start to this new year. And of course, there's no time like the present. You know, this is a time of debts, loans, taxes. So you guys may be going over that. You know, you're ruled by Mercury, like, you know, Virgo. So this could be seeing you paying off any debts, loans, concerning like your household bills, but also because you're, you're ruled by Mercury, this is to do with like yourself too. So there could be some stuff that comes up because for some reason, January feels very much a sentimental, emotional time and you guys could be feeling it big time and sentimental means things from going back from the past so they could be exes or themes and fears from the past could be resurfing 
this is great to be talking to someone whether it's your friend or a therapist doing some occult work trying to understand yourself so you could decide to get like a tarot reading just to understand like the deeper meanings of things because you have you have the Mars retrograde in your house and it's making you very busy but it's also making you guys go back on things there could be a lot of backtracking but I feel emotionally you these things are coming up that you need to really work through so it's no time like the present and Mercury ruling your fourth as well is the past it's a cancer house so it's like no running away, you have to face it now. So you got experience rebirth. Okay, and it is a number 12 card, which is the Neptune card, I always say. It is the hangman. So you could be dispensing in the past and the future, but not really in the now. There could be a lot of confusion coming up, but you need to experience rebirth. The eighth house is about death and rebirth. It's also about transformation. So with Capricorn being here and with the past coming up and fears and, you know, motivations for you to work through these coming up, this will give you a greater sense of rebirth. It will make you understand yourself a bit more on a mental level. Um, this could, I feel that a lot of this could also see some like family members come back if you haven't seen them in a while because you've been too busy. There could also be like lots of talking, reminiscence about the past or when you were younger actually feels like a great time. You just have to embrace the emotional side, Gemini. Hello, Cancer. So this is in your seventh house. You're going to feel this. All the cardinal signs will. And Mercury rules your third house and your twelfth. So these are mental houses, mental emotional houses. These are houses that are to do with, you know, because the seventh is about your relationships, business and personal and contracts. So that's going to be the major theme. There could be that coming up, but also this is to do with your relationship. So I feel like Gemini and some other signs, people will be coming back like exes and and it could be like old partnerships come back. It could be old contracts that you need to look over and sign. Or if you've been waiting for something, it will come but it will take a while, okay, so January may be potentially very emotional for you guys, very busy, I feel this is a time that you, it's a time to really communicate with your partner, if you're not on the same page, there could be some bubbling up of um, anger or resentment coming up, you know, arguments can happen, because you, again, you're not on the same page, but this is a time to communicate, communicate in the best way that you can, there can be some insecurities that come up cancer because um, things are not moving the way that it should. And it could be to do with your, just your, it could be just your, you know, relationship, but also like contracts and things that, you know, you just want things to just happen really fast. Again, this is a great time to be writing, 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 writing your thoughts and feelings, writing, um, doing some like certain projects that you've had because you remember you've got Mars which is in your 12th so this is giving you this sort of drive behind the scenes to do some creative work do some meditation or yoga which can help with the craziness that could be potentially happening in January um, but yeah especially if something from the past comes back as well this can upset you emotionally for the good or the bad so, yes, I feel for you, Cancers, anything that comes up is just definitely to work with, not necessarily to stay. So the card you've got is focus on higher truths. Yeah, focus on higher truths. So listening with, with Mercury ruling your 12th, it's about your subconscious. It's also about your intuition. It's about listening to that because your intuition is going to be very high. It's going to be, you know, you're going to have this psychic phenomena, this psychic ability. Hugely, though, your dreams are going to be playing a big part in what's going on. Um, again, I feel you're going to be mentally busy. So doing some type of meditation will really help. But also it will help you get in tune with um, just not your feelings, but other people's feelings, too. Because I feel that all the cardinal are going to be very busy. Busy sorting out business, your you know, your physical, mental, emotional stuff's coming up. 
and you know you're going to be getting it just you know you know you're opposite to capricorn you're going to be feeling it too but focus on higher truths focus on things that make you happy focus on you know if something is not to, meant to be in your life it's not meant to be we can't hold on and you know if you and some of you end up seeing someone from your past then you know they make your heart flutter and you're in a relationship focus on the thing that you know you have and not something that was already gone okay hello leo so this mercury retrograding capricorn is in your sixth house of health wellness routines pets and your work life so that's the theme that's going to be coming up it could be changes within a job like there could be more training to be done it could be you getting more paperwork it could be changes within your whole structure at work because this is a mercury house anyway so you guys may be very busy coming to january you know end of january or even coming to january very very busy it's going to be like a go 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 thing and yeah i do feel I, I do see there's a lot of training going on and there could be some tests that you guys may have to do but also i see for all you leos that um you know because mercury rules your 11th and it also rules your second so this will definitely help with you know if you are going to be doing if there are changes in your job whether it's training or tests or anything this will help financially. It may, you know, your your pay packet could get a bit more. But also your goals and your dreams and aims may also change. Or some of you may decide that, you know, looking at your job, especially in the new year, it may not be something that you want in the long term. So there could be definite change. This is also to do with friends. So friends may potentially come back. But I do see more that there's things that work coming back. But also this is also to do with your health. So you could be looking at that as well and thinking, I need to get on point, get more fitter. You could be revisiting an old fitness, going back to the gym, doing bar work, ballet, any of that. Looking at what you're eating too. Again, because it's January, great time, new start. It'll tend to be for the long term. So the card that you have, Leo, is you have support. So anything that's it's going to be a busy time for, for i think for everyone in a different way but if you're if you're doing a lot by yourself when it comes to like your work and your routines you know have you have support leos you don't have to do everything on your own it's time to like open up you know to people it could be your friend remember this rules your 11th house too so you know if you need to like talk to anyone you're gonna have a lot of support if you need help with anything again you have support if you need help with getting healthier if you need help with, um, you know, just being like not busy and just trying to relax, you will have support. You have support at home and you will have support at work as well. And especially, Leo, if you're feeling overwhelmed, open up, you know, because you'll be very surprised who's supporting you. You'll be very surprised who would actually like to help you. So, yes, a very busy time for a lot of you, Leos. And, um, yeah. Hello, Virgo. So this Mercury retrograde is in your fifth house. So going over old creativity. It could be you, if you have kids, helping your kids with any exams or any creative work. Um, be thinking about kids as well. It could be a lot of that. But also, you could be acting like a kid, but maybe in a bit of a serious way. And creativity. And also could be working for yourself, but doing passion things that you're passionate about. You're ruled by Mercury, so you're you're gonna be. Anytime Mercury goes anywhere, you feel this, and you very much may be at home. Now, Virgo, very much may be at home. So yes, busy time. I say to all the signs, but you know all the Earth signs are gonna be feeling this greatly. And. Again, because it's the fifth house, there could be old lovers that come back, like people that you used to date, your um, old passion projects, again, that definitely could be coming out, and also you could be thinking about what, what, what I want, not about what everyone else, but what I want, what makes me happy. 
Virgo, um, it also rules your 10th house. So this is definitely concerning your career, your, you know, your, your standing, your status. So a lot of you Virgos could be shining right now or thinking about how can I, you know, present myself to the world? How can I do something that will make my standing just that little bit stronger? There could be a lot of that. You could be, there could be a lot of, you could be having your own conversations within yourself. We're thinking, how come you keep talking about your, how come you keep talking to yourself? But you could just be reminding yourself and boosting your confidence. Nothing wrong with having a healthy ego, Virgos. So the card that you have is ground yourself. So I feel when it says ground yourself, because it's in a fifth house, which is a Leo house, but because it's in the earth, I feel that it could be quite hard for a lot of you to ground because you're burst of enthusiasm could be taken over and also i feel that because this mercury you know you are probably doing lots of planning and over planning and there could be things that you forget like if you're if you've got kids and you're supposed to drop them to like i don't know football or but because you're so excited about what you <laughs> are going to be doing you know especially for the new year the, a lot of these things can fall by the wayside so grounding yourself could be many forms it could be you doing a workout that's what the fifth house rules it could be you taking deep breaths um, writing is a great way i'm um, doing puzzles i feel or even just doing something very creative finding ways that can just make you just relax in, in a way because it's like high energy time even though capricorn rules your fifth it's still like ambitious so yeah very exciting time for a lot of you virgos and i'll speak to you soon hello libra so this mercury retrograde is in your fourth house so because you are you know you are um cardinal you're going to be feeling this you're going to be hitting all the cardinal signs and for you libra this is because it's in, it's in your fourth you are it's about home so there could be stuff you are fixing at home, but this also could be emotional stuff, thoughts from the past could be coming up, revisiting, um, you could be revisiting like family members, you could also be revisiting um, themes that your your home that you used to live in, it feels very much, in a, again, in a, like Gemini, very emotional time. They could, because Gemini rules you, and Mercury rules your ninth house, and it also rules your twelfth. So you could see lots of, there could be some themes, visions, and themes that come up for you that you didn't, it's not that you forgot about, you just didn't really think about. And I feel that some of you, if, if you are going back home or to a childhood home or anything that was from the past, there could be people that come up as well, or people that you see. And I feel very emotional. I feel that if you're going to be talking about anything with people that you used to know, it would be like an outpouring of emotion. Not like crazily crying. It's just like an outpouring of truth, outpouring of emotion. And it may be very cathartic, maybe very cleansing for a lot of you guys. And I also see for some of you Librans that, you know, this Mercury retrograde can herald in um a cleansing of things that weren't said in the family as well so yeah very emotional even i feel quite emotional saying it for a lot of you librans but you're going to be learning a lot i feel there's gonna be some truths like home truths that are gonna be brought out whether it's from you your parents or people it could be you know it could be um lovers anything like that but I think it's just going to be people in general that you're going to be seeing. And it could be during like the Christmas period all the way to the end of January. So I think if anything needs to be said, now is really the time. You're going to be learning a lot from this. And I feel you're going to be seeing things in a different point of view. That you may have believed something and it's like, oh, actually, now that things have been said and things that are in the open, I actually see it differently. Okay. And the fourth house also rules real estate as well. So th that, that could also be coming up. But I do feel it's very much more emotional side of things. Like you could be investing in a home, investing in like a childhood home. 
but also um, there could be lots of moving back or, you know, wanting to move forward, but you have to go back to something before you move forward. So the card you've got is explore your ancestry. You really couldn't make it. It's a 13 card, which is the death card in the tarot. So you're changing, you've changed, you're going to be seeing a, a change happening for a lot of you. And it's going to be for your better good, I feel, Libra. And whenever we see that the death card, it's very, ooh. But it's more to do with um, peeling off an old layer of what we used to be like and what we held on to and what we are willing not to let go of to transform to something new. So when it says explore your ancestry, explore your past. Your past, I feel, will definitely come up big time. And I think even though it's for the early to mid to late degrees, I think it's going to be for all Librans. You're going to feel this. I feel even if you don't want to explore it or see it, you it, 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 it will come up. Remember, it's Capricorn. Capricorn's about the past. It stays. So it's about you working with it, Libra, instead of like brushing it aside. And But I do feel anything that does come up, it's you're, you're going to see it very differently now. There's going to be a lot of forgiveness. Yes, there could be some tears, but there'll be more of a, okay, I'm glad that happened. Okay. Scorpio. So, Scorpio, this is in, this Mercury retrograde is in your third house. And Mercury rules your eighth, and it also rules your eleventh. So, you could be communicating a lot, going over stuff, signing contracts, talking with old friends. Friend, definitely friends can come back. But also old contracts, you know, you, I feel you may have to be quite mindful of how you're communicating because you may have to backtrack. But also, you know, um, this is about short distance travel. So you could be going back to um, like an old place you used to work or you, you used to live. And, na and you could probably see old neighbours, old friends. But yeah, a mentally busy time and with it ruling your eighth house as well, you know, you could be doing lots of paperwork concerning like debts, loans, you know, this is, you're ruled by the eighth house. So you could be very busy, that's my favourite word, during the new year when it comes to like signing, negotiating contracts, leases, you know, um, also, uh, what's the other word, it's loans. As well, some of you could get a loan, or a loan could be approved, or if you have an inheritance, that could be approved because it may it may take a while to get through. But you know, the, the, again, I feel a lot of you could definitely have some support as well because it's ruling your eleventh as well. There could be some support support along the way, and this is showing me that there's going to be, you know, you may have been working on something, but now something different is going to be coming along, and new people could re-enter your life as well so i feel that you may have to pace yourself because it could be an up and down it could be an emotional time but it could also be a fun time but it could be, it could swing and it could really vary so the card you've got is a it's a no and it's the tower card so i feel this is saying it's, even though it says it's a no i feel it's a no like not to rush things because because it's in a sign that is not about rushing you could be rushing and because this is this is the, the 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 tower card, it's like things can just crumble. Um, things can just like you may have built things up very quickly, and then it just collides and it just crumbles very quickly too. So you you have you really have to pace yourself. If you're gonna be, um, they do say Mercury retrograde not to start a new project. Even if you start a new project now, it may take a long time for it to flourish. So I think it's good you're working on something whether it's a new blog or something to do with radio, journalism, or if you're looking to move or anything, and be, also be mindful of vehicles as well when you're driving. You could be wanting to, like, get this off the road. I think if you've done it before, you know, I feel it's great to just rework that. But starting something new, like it says, it's a no. So I feel that there's things that are going to be, like, smashed, but also things are going to be growing as well. Okay, and last but not least, we have Sagittarius, which is very rare to have you. This Mercury retrogrades in your second house, and Mercury rules your seventh, and it also rules your tenth. 
So you guys are all about the money. And you guys are all about, you know, this. there could be some spending going on. But also, because it's retrograde, you might be consolidating your money. Looking at your bills, looking at your bank statements. Looking at what needs to be saved, what needs to be paid, what needs to be, you know, all of that. And also about your eating habits as well. That's what the second house rules. And I feel some of you may be thinking about what type of um, creativity that you enjoy. Remember, this is a Taurus house. What needs to stick and what needs to actually go. But with it ruling your 7th and your 10th, yes, your career is playing big time. And with Mercury in your 2nd, it's also about your self-worth. So if you're in a career that's not paying you, your your worth is a you know you may be thinking about okay something needs to give here i'm not happy i'm gonna actually say it you know it's actually not making me want to you know like you know if you're you're, you're eating healthily for instance and you find that because you're so stressed you're just eating i don't know sweets and chocolates and biscuits that type of thing and it can make you quite lethargic so you may see that you know there's certain things that are not helping you in the, in, the, in the long run so looking at that now Sagittarius you know you can you're immutable so you always move around there's no problem for you but if you're happy but you're not getting your worth now it's time to really talk about it and negotiate I feel a lot of you are going to be negotiating and you know things I feel would definitely work in your favor and you know something has to do with contracts as well so you, a lot of you could be signing a contract a contract could be coming up for you to sign. A great time to be doing it. Yes, there could be some... Um, this could be within a partnership or it could be within... Um, there could be some conversations as well with your partner. Because, you know, if you're changing like your job, it's, of course, it's, you know, good to let your partner know. So and there, could, there, could, there definitely could be some changes happening here. But it's about your happiness and your self-worth. So the card that you got is is a yes. 17 card, which in the tarot is the star card. So yes, things are moving forward for you, Sagittarius. When it says it's a yes, things definitely can work out. If you, I feel that if you're asking for more, you will get more. I feel also if you are looking at what makes you happy, you're going to start being happy. I feel your relationship may be on point. I feel your career definitely will start to be a bit more on point too. Not obviously it's because of money, but also because you actually enjoy what you're doing. And when you enjoy your job, your home is harmonious and so is your career. So yes, but there's also I do see some changes happening with your career as well. Um for some Sagittarius money can ebb and flow. It really can. But I feel regardless, it may be like that in the new year. But during like the when it comes out, things definitely will stabilize or it can stabilize. OK, so guys, that was the Mercury retrograde in Capricorn for all of the signs. Hope you guys enjoyed this long video. You know, guys, I do like doing long videos. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. And yeah, let me know. And also another thing I forgot to say, look where Capricorn is and look where Mercury is in your house chart i think i said that but yes thank you guys very much for listening and i will speak to you soon take care bye